and the green flag is out. Brady Tennant's going to lead him to turn one. He would dominate the first couple laps. Trouble already, lap one. Triffin Davis, the 18's there. Mason Wellborn's also involved. Stephen Knight gets a piece of it, and Alex Bates is going to hit the inside wall a ton on board with him right now. Looks like Triffin Davis just comes down after getting hit, and look at Bates just back it into that wall. That is not a beautiful sight for that team. Not what they want after Daytona, and definitely not what they want after Watkins Glen. Trying to get it off to a good start, but not happening. On board with Andrew Fessler here, as he's going to go three wide with Eddie Roberts. Now Chris Barnes going to get turned. Colin Brown and Jason Strzelinski is there. Colin Brown's going to get through, but Chris Barnes in the middle of the track and is going to get missed by everybody. As Stephen Knight's going to be the last chap to come through there, and then Bates and Wellborn come through there. Wow. Another view here, how this all started on board with Andrew Fessler. Look at him get through there as Colin Brown comes up to miss the spinning car of Barnes. On board with him now as he's going to spin around down the back stretch. Lap 8, second yellow. The restart would come. Who could get the supremacy over Brady Tennant? We would find out. Wow, look at Stephen Knight just coming right through there. Close, close, close. Jonathan Tallman on the restart. A great one at that. Trying and muscling their way around the 89, but didn't happen too quickly as Shalinski jumps on there. The day 2500 winner, winner Bobby Campbell, just going to get a little bit too close for comfort as Ian Dowdy's going to get turned by Colin Brown in the backstretch. Not where you want to be. Luckily, the 500 winner, not going to get any scrape, but Ian Dowdy, on the other hand, is going to go upside down on the back. He would be okay. Lap 23, Brady Tennant after pitting is going to get put back in the pack. He's going to get turned by the 77, and this is going to be bad, boys and girls. He goes up and into the fence. Multiple cars is going to get into the air. The 77, the 15, the 25. Now, Brady Tennant and Steve Rotta barrel rolling in turn one. Caution would be out. Brady Tennant would not get out of his car. The safety crews having to cut off the top of the roof and help him out. We would hear... Uh, an update from him at the end of the highlights here. Just on board with Ryan Williams. And then look at Wesley coming there. And then Williams is going to get upside down and the camera is going to go out. Just a crazy, crazy ride. Looking at Steve Rotta here. It's Brady Tennant. Oh, man, just up in the traffic. The 77 and 25, nowhere to go. And look, the 49 of James Chu going to get through there, but then gets hit. And look at the 15 in the 97. That is just a terrible set of rolls. The Daytona 500 winner, Bobby Campbell, unfortunately not going to get through this unscathed. At first sight it appears, but then instantly the engine will be blown and his day would be over. On the restart, it would set us up for a two-lap shootout. Jeffrey Stanton having to hold off the whole field. Who would win the race? Well, we'll have to find out. Into turn one they go. 31 is there. The 12 of Brian is there. Brian Mercurio. He is also there. 38, and way in the back, Robert Kroga wonders. Going into turn three and four. Ah, oh, looking at Robert Kroga now. White flag in the air. The 45 trying everything he can do to hold off Kroga, but not going to happen. Into turn one and two. He is there. Kroga dives low. Under Jeffrey Stan as they come off two. The 12, he is also there. Contact. Oh, maybe some more time down as they go down the back stretch into three and four. Crazy racing as they go into three and four. Kuroga's going to clear him. Out of turn four, Robert Kuroga takes race three at Chicagoland. A great race. And now we're going to look at the standings. And while we're looking at the standings, we have some update on the conditions of the drivers involved in that terrible crash previously in the race. The Tennant and Steve Rada have been checked into the hospital if you want to know their conditions and their statuses of their race team head over to fmbracing.com link is in the description there you'll not only find statuses about this race and many more but you'll keep you up to date on what is going on with the series and also we have an online series if you want to check that out go on there have fun thanks for watching have a nice night